I remember when I was four years old, we had a typewriter at home. My cousins had the next level up, a word processor. So one day when we were at their house, I got on the word presser and I typed up my first story ever. I, I can still see the courier font, but I don't remember exactly what the story was about. Something about a bunch of characters and books that I had read. What I do remember is that typing up this story began my foray into becoming a writer. I've been doing sales focused writing, writing for profit for more than 15 years. Now more than ever, words make sales. Now, historically, we've seen this with direct mail. We've gotten things like this in the mail. I save these and I study them. Now you might think this is just stuff that gets thrown in the trash, but this is a revenue producing magic. You see ads, landing pages, pop-up forms, email marketing, all of these come down to two things one words and two user design looking at how your eyes move across the page when you read something and making it as easy as possible for you to click the buy button with minimal friction so if you've got a message to share a product or service to sell and an audience to persuade i'm going to share a few really important things to keep in mind especially when it comes to words one of the most important things when you're writing and sharing your message is to know what is the problem what is it that you're solving what is bothering people so much that they need what you're offering? I worked on a project for a client who was an interior designer. People hired her to make their homes look amazing, but they weren't just hiring her to create a designer home. Many were in what's known as the sandwich generation. They're raising young kids, but they're also taking care of elderly parents and they often have a multi-generational home. So what they really needed was a functional home with safety features for the oldest and the youngest generations while still having a home that's beautiful and enjoyable for all generations. That was the real need. And speaking to that specific need made people feel seen and heard. Here's, a, here's another example in the area of weight loss. For a lot of people, yes, they're looking for aesthetic. They wanna look a certain way, but there are also lots of people who, when it comes down to it, they want results like being able to bend over and pick up their child or their grandchild. They want to be able to keep up with their friends and family on vacation or walk without getting winded. With any situation or anything you're selling, there are a lot of deeper level challenges you can find that will resonate with your audience. So you have to be clear on the problems that you're solving. Keep an eye out for the second video of this series, which involves being a magician.